Bulging has brought some very heavy contenders for this year's mob vote. I would go as far as to say this is their best year yet. And they've always showcased great mobs, but between the Sniffer, the Rascal, and the Tough Golem, you might be wondering to yourself, what mob should you vote for? The Sniffer was the first mob to have an announcement video this year, and it was a strong start. We see the Sniffer lays eggs underwater, and these eventually hatch into the Sniffer mob. I believe this will function very similarly to turtle eggs, but backwards where they will lay their eggs underwater, and then when they hatch, they'll come to land. Tiny Yeb says that they look ancient, which makes me believe that these eggs will be found and laid in ancient ruins to give a purpose to the rather bland structures. These eggs are green and red, and these colors are shared with their adult counterparts. The Sniffer has a yellow nose, a red body, and an almost leafy-like shell, and I am a huge fan of this design. Tiny Agnes says that they loved plants and found seeds by sniffing the ground. I'm going to hazard a guess and say that they'll also be able to duplicate seeds and saplings, which would be incredibly useful for something like a tree farm. They also said that if the Sniffer mob wins the vote, then we will get new plants and seeds. So builders, now's your chance. This will get you some new foliage. When playing in survival mode, some of these new plants will most likely only be obtainable by following the Sniffer mob and gathering the seeds that they dig up. There is one more thing to talk about, and that is the giant sniffer. Now, we don't know whether this is just the adult sniffer or if it's a giant variant. That much is unknown. Either way, I suspect that this giant sniffer to be about the size of two horses based on the pixelated concept art. The Rascal was the second mob to get an announcement video, and for those of you like me who were following the updates, having just seen the sniffer, there were high expectations and those expectations were most definitely met. The Rascal takes the appearance of a hunched over traveler with a hooded face and an oversized backpack. His skin is gray and he seems to be about half the size of the player. Again, this is only from the pixelated art, so size is most likely not to scale. It appears that the Rascal will only be found in abandoned mine shafts, and I really like this idea of placing interesting mobs with structures. This is actually a trend I'm noticing that Mojang has been following for quite a few years now, and I'm all for it. Tiny Yeb says that it lives underground and loves to play hide and seek, and we see that after finding it three times, the player will be rewarded with a gift. Now in the video, it's an enchanted iron pickaxe, and while that would be cool early game, the moment you get your first diamonds, this mob becomes nearly useless. This mob is definitely more of a novelty than anything, but even with that, the concept and the potential is incredible. However, you'll notice that the rascal reaches into his backpack to give the player their reward. I'd like to see this expanded upon where after finding the rascal, he will become a traveling merchant and trade you food and torches in exchange for things like stone and precious gems. This idea is a little far-fetched and there is little to no evidence that this will be a feature. However, this idea is a very, very cool and would greatly add some life to the caves. The Tough Golem was the final mob to get an announcement video this year, and it was a very weak ending from Mojang. Unfortunately, the Tough Golem appears to be nothing more than a glorified item frame. The Tough Golem is able to hold items that you give it, and will display them by carrying them around. I could see this being useful if the player had the ability to call for the Tough Golem, which would then bring you the item they are holding. However, even with this, it appears that they can only hold one item at a time, Perhaps by giving them an inventory similar to the donkey with a saddlebag would make the tough golem a little more useful. I believe in order to display an item, the player would pick an item from the tough golem's inventory and place it in a slot similar to the player's offhand. Now this is all speculation, there is no evidence that the tough golem will have an inventory, and if it doesn't, the player will most likely display an item the same way they would with an item frame. There was no information on where we could find this mob. I would hazard a guess and say that these would be made much like the Iron Golem and Snow Golems. This showcase was honestly the worst in terms of giving us details about the mob. The other two gave us way more information, and I feel that the Tough Golem is Mojang's worst mob this year. Now it's your time to vote. As of right now, it's said that Mojang will be adding skins to the launchers so you can show your support for the mob you'll be voting for. They also plan on using a new voting system, which will open on October 14th at noon EDT. Voting will remain open for 24 hours and will close at noon the following day. With this new voting system, you will actually vote from within the launcher itself 
and will be able to change your vote during the 24 hour period. I personally am a fan of this change because now people without a Twitter account will be able to vote and it's inclusive to the entire Minecraft community. It's totally up to you which mob you want to vote for. I personally wish that all of these mobs would be added to the game, but we know that won't happen. So because of that, I'm going to be voting for the sniffer. I hope each and every one of you have a fabulous day. My name is 1FMC and I'll catch you in the next one.